Well, welcome people. Quite excited about this car. This is my uh, Traxxas Slash 4x4 review. This is a 116th edition of the Traxxas Slash. It's brushless ready. This is the Mark Jenkins Special Edition. This body is available in four different colours from your local Traxxas dealer. The reason I've got the Mark Jenkins Special Edition, I've also got the Traxxas Ultimate, the big version of this, uh, to show you as a comparison. So without more ado, this thing is packed full of features, just can't wait to get this box open. So let's get the security open and uh, get inside the box. Well, thanks to f and Hobbies for the access to this great car. Uh, if you like this car in this review, then please do use the link uh, below this video or the link at the end of the video. As ever, any comments or questions on this video, please do ask away and I'll do my best to answer them on with the review. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. All the Traxxas products come with their security seal on the side here. I've removed the ones from both ends uh, of this box. Let's just have a look what we've got in here. Okay. So we've got our car in here. Uh, the uh, box was actually upside down there. So uh, just the whole thing comes out as one unit, empty box in there. Nothing else left in there other than the phone. Very, very easy to uh, remove and get started. So what have we got for our money? Uh, in this pack here, uh, we've got our ID power cell battery included. Uh, Traxxas uh, charger. This is a car charger designed as a uh, fast charger, which is ideal if you're out in the car. But I would highly recommend uh, investing the extra money uh, and buying the uh, the Traxxas Easy um, Pick ID system for charging this battery when you can do it in your mains power at home. You've got Traxxas stickers in here. You've got a manual. You've got a basic tool set tucked away in there. Uh, in this box in here, we've got our transmitter, but I'll get onto that in just a second. So, uh, let's get the car unwrapped. The great thing being on these Traxxas bodies, the latest way they've got to fasten them in, just two body clips attaching. And the whole of the body is wrapped in plastic, so it doesn't get any scratches on it in transit. Uh, which, to my mind, is uh, a great and really, really neat feature uh, on there. Okay, well, moving on to the car itself. On the top here, we've got our aerial tube. Uh, just going to remove that for the... Uh, the minute we've got okay well this card attached the speed control on here just highlights um the the settings for the low voltage warning on here uh, this is actually um a lipo ready speed controller so you can actually fit a lipo battery uh, to this car if you want to fit a brushless motor just say it's brushless the, the thing is brushless ready uh, it doesn't have the third wire coming out of the speed controller however during the trucks upgrade program you can fit that one of their very biggest brushless motors on here, the 3500, which will fit in, replace this Titan 12 turn thing, and turn this into an absolute flying machine. Uh, upgrade, 125 bucks. That includes a brushless motor and a new um, brushless um, ESC on there. Uh, very good upgrade to my mind. However, I think this thing is going to be quite fast enough on its own. One great thing about this car. Uh, this is $40 less than the E-Revo, yet it has the E-Revo suspension uh, fitted to it, front and back, the inboard suspension uh, on there. To uh, give you some idea of the travel that we've got on here, there we go. This is pretty much the 116th E-Revo, but for $40 less. To my mind, that makes it a bit of a bargain. Um, well, uh, just taking the camera off the tripod here briefly, just going to do a quick walk around the car. On here, you can see the E-Revo suspension there at the uh, the back, E-Revo suspension at the front. Got a steering servo there. Steering setup, you can see underneath the car there. And we've got our battery compartments in the side. All fairly simplistic, um, but at the same time, fairly sophisticated inboard suspension setup in there. So, I do have a feeling this thing is absolutely going to fly. Uh, so, let's have a look at the transmitter. Well, sliding our transmitter box open here, uh, use a knife to very carefully uh, cut that open. We've got our 2.4 GHz transmitter. 2.4 GHz is great because it means, unlike older uh, FM transmitters, nothing will interfere with the signal from this. Uh, the Traxxas here, the uh, top qualifier radio, uh, very, very good balance to it. Simply takes four A batteries, which fit in here. Uh, when you slot, they're not supplied, I would say. Um, just slide this compartment open to fit them. Uh, throttle, uh, forwards, backwards, steering on here, using this nicely weighted control. 
uh, we've got our uh, steering trim on here fairly basic radio you're not going to get um, throttle trim steering dual rate on here um, on this uh, this price point on off switch here uh, for uh, turning the transmitter uh, on overall fairly good uh, transmitter for this price point so what do we get for our money well we get this fantastic car with its uh, sort of 110 scale motor on here 550 style motor still cannot believe that in this 116 scale vehicle uh, we get this amazing body uh, it's available in four different colors this is the Mark Jenkins special edition uh, absolutely eye-popping in that black and red uh, we get our 2.4 gig to uh, top qualifier radio uh, we get our fast charger on here this is one that plugs in your auto uh, so you may want to invest in the easy peak uh, charger system uh, from Traxxas we also get the ID battery uh, from Traxxas um, including nickel metal, nickel metal hydride battery uh, included with this car which is the ID works with the ID system uh, that works with the new Traxxas charging system uh, we get a spare pack of body clips we got our aerial tube our uh, low voltage um, battery warning uh, card on there uh, basic toolkit on here uh, we're looking there we've got our wheel nut and our slipper our slipper clutch adjustment uh, device on here uh, we get our quick start guide uh, most importantly of all we got our Traxxas warranty card off send this off as soon as you get your Traxxas product to make sure uh, you get the um, the warranty uh, that you have paid for uh, we get this detailed instruction manual um, which features expanded diagrams including all the part numbers of everything you need uh, should you damage anything on this car uh, as ever with all Traxxas cars spares are readily available so overall I'm pretty impressed with this well this is the uh, Traxxas nickel metal hydride 7.2 volt battery a 1200 milliamp that the car comes supplied with uh, you've got easy entry battery compartment in the side you've also got a secondary battery compartment uh, in this side um, it does specifically say there's a warning card that comes in here uh, that does say not to fit a series connector to pair both battery to, to pair two batteries up with this ESC but obviously with some of the other ESCs uh, that can take more voltage you can run uh, twin batteries on there I am guessing so need to read up on that but that is how uh, your battery fits in uh, very simply and easily this is Traxxas uh, easy uh, ID system uh, on here uh, we plug it into their charger uh, automatically senses what size battery it is what type of battery it is uh, without you having to worry about it so before we compare this car to its uh, uh, competition within the Traxxas range including its bigger brother the ultimate uh, uh, slash 4x4 uh, what else is there to love about this car? Well, it comes with these uh, oil-filled GTR shocks on here. Uh, progressive brake suspension travel, uh, which is from the, uh, the race setup from the E-Revo on there. Uh, it comes with ball racers fitted throughout, including the gearbox here and all the suspension parts, everything ball raced throughout, which will uh, not only increase its top speed, uh, but increase its runtime as well. Uh, it keeps everything nice and loose within the uh, setup there. Okay, we've got our slash 4x4, 1 16th on the left hand side there, La Trax 1 18th on the right hand side. Immediately, uh, you can see, even with the uh, the front wheels of the cars there pretty much together the difference uh, of the slash on the extended wheelbase there on the left hand side uh, immediately notice this differences in the uh, suspension much much uh, improved suspension on the uh, the slash with the uh, inboard e revo setup uh, on that the full size motor immediately apparent uh, that's the uh, the motor tucked away uh, on there under the uh, uh, sst there uh, immediately the whole thing you can see basically you've got a 110 scale car uh, on here uh, in a 116 scale setup the power on this thing is going to be awesome uh, I mean this is quite nippy uh, but it's going to be nothing uh, compared to the uh, the 4x4 here uh, so let's have a look at uh, the uh, the ultimate edition Mark Jenkins bigger brother so you can see a comparison once again on the scale whilst my, I initially love the uh, Traxxas slash uh, 116 4x4 I also love its bigger brother now you see why I chose this version with the Mark Jenkins body this is the uh, uh, Traxxas slash 4x4 ultimate version yours for around about $600 uh, however this will hit 60 miles an hour plus straight out the box uh, when fitted with a 3S battery lots and lots of upgrades included in this car I've uh, got a full review of this coming up very shortly so if you like uh, this review uh, of the uh, 
the 116 scale version and you want to see its bigger brother uh, in uh, action and in more detail under the skin then please do like and subscribe well i hope you like this review if you did as i say please subscribe for more like it thanks for watching Many thanks to FNM Hobbies uh, for enabling me to have access to this 116 scale Traxxas slash 4x4 to uh, review and have access to. Uh, so why not buy your IC gear where I buy mine from FNM Hobby Centre, Flanders, New Jersey. Use the link below to contact them. And if you like this video, want more like it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.